Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Quran Karim, seek the means to come close to me. This is Ayatul Karima. Find ways, Allah is saying, to come close to me. There are many ways to come close to Allah. The wrong idea is thinking, I can come close to Allah by myself. That is wrong. Allah never say in any ayat, come to me by yourself. So we must ask, who is closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Find ways to come close to me. That's enough. That's enough. I'm sleeping. But it's both me, Hanna. So I don't have to see. Oh, my Seek the means to come close to me. Meaning the means to come close. There are ways that will make you to come closer to Allah much faster. What is the way that is closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who is that one? that is closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the Holy Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa So seek to come close to the Prophet. Seek his intercession. Shafa'at. Really, if you are uh, still very mm, fuzzy about what is Wahhabi and what is Ahli Sunnah, I say, you believe in Shafa'at or not? No. That's Shafa'at. Yeah, to say madad, ya Rasulullah, you know. To say shafat, ya Rasulullah. They say, no, that is a shirik, no wahhabi. Doesn't matter if they are Hanafi, Sufi, Hanbali, Maliki, Shafi'i. We say, can we go to the Prophet, alayhi sallallahu wa sallam, and say shafat, ya Rasulullah? Say, no, that is, you must ask only from Allah. That one, Hanafi, Maliki, Sufi, wahhabi. They say, if they say, we believe, yes. That you can ask for the intercession of the Prophet ﷺ. Then this Ahli Sunnah. Now the ones who are entering into Tariqat, now you're going to know the way to the Prophet ﷺ. Not just the way of the Prophet, but the way to the Prophet ﷺ. Don't assume that you're in the way of the Prophet, you are in the way of the Prophet. Do you understand? Now the shaykhs are there to bring you to the way of the Prophet ﷺ. Grab hold one of those. Be with the Salihim, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. That time, maybe something will work. We are always, uh, maybe it's this Protestant work ethic in America, meaning work hard. If you want to be successful, you must work hard. If you work hard, you are successful. It's not an equation. There are thousands of people who work hard, millions, billions of people who work very hard. And they're not successful. They get pennies a day. And there are so many who don't work at all. And their bank account just gets bigger and bigger. So what do you mean work hard? then you're going to be successful. Which means, just work by yourself. And this idea, now Muslims are taking, just do by yourself. Worship hard, do all the five pillars properly, work hard, and you're going to be successful in the way of Allah. Wrong. It is not you. It is Allah's mercy on you. So find Allah's mercy. Rahmata lil alameen. The mercy to the universe, as the Holy Prophet ﷺ. Find him. And find his inheritors. That time you will get Allah's mercy. Once you get Allah's mercy, your heart must have mercy. You cannot say, I just want Allah's mercy, Allah to fulfill my dua. But your heart is dead or it's empty, it's not moving and you don't care more your heart is going to be soft that time. You will know what is right and wrong. Don't mistake to think, oh, heart soft, like those ones who talk about unconditional love, their hearts are very soft. 
No. Your heart's soft because you know how much that one has suffered because of his ego and how evil his ego is. You watch and you know how much those ones, they are suffering because of other people's ego. And you must not like that other people's ego. And you will see how others are suffering because of shaitan. You are not going to have unconditional love for shaitan. You will be with shaitan too. You think you have more mercy than Allah? The arrogance of people. So now, find that one, a friend of Allah. Sit and talk to them a little bit. They understand you. So many times we talk for us to understand ourselves, not for us to explain to them. They know more. They can see. But we talk so that things are clear because things are going round and round and round and round in our head. <coughs> Don't sleep. Wake up. Shaitan is playing games with you and you still don't know. You're not able to focus, you're not able to see. So now, talk to that one a little bit. And try to take his advice. Try to understand. Certain things will open in your heart for you to understand. Maybe what you're wishing for, that you wish for so hard, maybe it's not good for you. Maybe the things that you really want, it is not good for you. Maybe the things that you are seeing that is bad that is happening for you, it is good for you. But when you are, shaitan is so busy in your heart and you cannot see and you cannot speak. You will not be able to understand this. So many people, they're coming to share handy. There and look, and he pray. He nods his head. He prays. He says, "Inshallah." He says, "So many times he's saying, we are praying. If it is good for you, for it to open, because we don't pray what you want. We ask what Allah wants, and we're asking for that. For you to understand this is a first step to wisdom." Sit and understand. Sit and speak. Be in sohbet. But be in sohbet with the salihin. Don't be in sohbet with your shaitan that is inside. Don't be in sohbet with your ego that is making you to go around and around and around and not coming to any conclusion. His words first for me, then for those who are listening. Assalamu alaikum. Okay.